Hey everybody, Danny Ward here. Thanks for joining us. How long have you been trying to hit your driver straight to try and get rid of that horrible slice or horrible hook? Well, this week I have got a drill that is super strange, but works unbelievably well. Two students come and see me this week. Big, big booming slices. Now I gave them something that they, in their own words, go, Danny, this is weird. I said, just trust it and the results were unbelievable. I'm going to share with you what we did with them because you know what? It really, really works. Now, before I get into the video, look, if you're new to the channel, one of your first videos of mine, please consider subscribing. Just press that little bell button, next subscribe button, you get notified every time I release a video just like this one. Plus, you won't have to remember a thing. I'll always put a free download or practice guide in the description box below. Okay, so let's solve that slice, all that hook once and for all. With this, I do warn you, a very, very strange drill, but I promise you, it really, really does work. So Roger and Richard both come and see me with a great big booming slice. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you step-by-step step what we did with them, because you know what? It works, and it turned their slice into a draw. In fact, they were drawing it for the first time. So here's what we did, step-by-step. Step. If you slice the golf ball, here's what's happening. And the same way that everybody does this, three components. You get over here, let's talk about left side, your lead side here. This starts to get crunched in, so we're getting some bend in here. Your trail side works over, so this right side here for me is coming over. And then you get this kind of flicky motion here, so it's not very powerful. The face is coming across the line of the golf ball, and we blade or we slice that golf ball here. So all we've got to do is simply tackle those components. But to tackle them, you have to exaggerate them hugely important. So if you watch plenty of YouTube videos, you've probably tried many things, but for some reason they're not working. And the reason why they're not working is because you don't, or I'm finding is the golfers just don't exaggerate the motion enough. The reason being is, look, I'm going to give you something in a second. And when we do this, it's going to look strange on camera on purpose. But let me, if I, let me just, let's go, with, let's get straight into it and show you what I'm, uh, what I'm talking about here. So, we said the first component when you slice, you're getting stuck in here. So what I want you to do is this, through the impact area, you don't want to be here, we want to be here. All great ball strikers have this kind of lead side extending. So I want, I want you to do is exaggerate this motion lots. So what I did with, the, with uh, both Roger and Richard is this, I got them to feel what the impact was like. So I got them to really push like this, so they got lots of flexion in this side here, lots of extension, and it looked like this. Weird, yes? Did they look like this when I got them to do it? No, I just want them to feel like this. So this is why I'm showing you on camera. Do it, what you feel is an exaggerated way, you won't, I promise you, look anything like this, but really push it, extend, and crunch. Now from here, you cannot slice. Why? Because slices work over people who draw the ball, and the ball strikers work under. Can you see the difference? So when this is extended, it's flexing, we're working under. Fantastic. So all I did was got them initially to just do this. Set up normally, and then got them to do this. Feel what that was like underneath, and then go back. Feel what that was like here, underneath, then go back. Simple as that. Second state. In fact, to be honest, you could actually just hit some shots where you go extend, flex, feel what that's like, and then go into the shot, and then and just hit away. So, first component was starting to become into their games. They started to feel this level of extension, but it's just one of the components. Remember, we want to feel like we're getting an under motion, not an over motion. So from here, look, I then also got them to make sure that this trail arm look wasn't going to go around. It was going to stay under. So you look at here, look, this is underneath my top hand here, right? So as I'm swinging, I'm not only am I getting them to feel this at impact here, I'm also to getting them to feel under. And as I do this, notice what this does to the shaft and the handle. It pushes it higher. Again, from here, when you look at it, do you see tall professionals like this? No. I don't, this is not about what it looks like here. This is about what it feels like. They need to exaggerate this motion. Why? Because they were always going to be like this. And this is, again, repeating myself, but why we struggle sometimes from a YouTube video or a video that we're watching to make improvements because when you do something like this, it can, and you, you, you do it, think, 
that just feels weird, produces this ugly image of what it looks like in your mind, and then you don't do it. Really push it to the limit, counter what you normally do. So underneath here, handle way forward. So now look, I've got them to feel handles way forward into position, but what do you notice about the club face? It's open, it's pointing over there. So how do they square it from there? Yeah, watch. We don't square it with a over, we square it with, look at this. You see what I'm doing with my wrists here? Feeling that squareness there comes from there, from the touch and the feel in the hands, yeah? You see that? Whereas most of the time, you're trying to, if you're slicing the golf ball, you're trying to square it by with the trail side, working out, working around. Okay, so we've now got extension. We've got under here. We've got the handle forward, way too much. And the sensation now is this, to, for them to get this under motion, not allow this motion to happen here, really keep the handle ahead as they're doing it. So, we went into that, and they're going, as we're going on this, uh, working through this, both of them say to me, really? Are you sure? I said, go with it, trust me on this one. So, balls forward with driver. And by the way, we'll discuss irons in a second. Handle way forward, feel it. And we got them into this routine here where we get extension, flexion, handle forward, feel like they're turning the knuckles down to the ground. Turning the knuckles down to the ground on the fingertips to the sky is feeling how they're closing the face. Yeah, they're closing the face without closing it with their shoulders or their arms. So, they got this feeling, then look, they didn't stay there, they went back to their normal setup, and then tried to repeat that feeling when they swung back. And if you see that on camera for me, I've created there a big looping draw, right? Maybe even too much for me. I'm a natural draw, so this kind of thing, this exaggeration is a nightmare for me, right? Because it's not for uh, people who draw the books, only for your few slice. But what it did for them, it made their slice swing turn initially into a little fade. Because even though we were exaggerated, do you think they got into all these positions for a great ball striker? No, but what they did look, watch this. They started to do this. As they exaggerated it, their swing impact position started to go like this. Gradually improving bit by bit by bit as they exaggerated more and more. And finally, they started to get into the under position to hit into this space where they're gonna hit this wonderful, wonderful draw from. And that's what I want you to do. Now, we're gonna show you how you can build a routine to take straight to the golf course now and also give you something to feel as well, maybe when you're at home and to, to practice this. So what I gave with both uh, Roger and Richard is a real simple routine that yes, they felt was, God, that's a bit weird and, and a bit strange, but they did it and you'll see on camera, it didn't look very strange. So we got them self set up here. I, uh, they got a feel impact position, so we got them to really extend. So they went extension, they went under and then they went feel the club face closed hold for half a second feel it then they would hit the shot and you can see when richard does this he you see he does look nothing like i've just shown you there because he felt as though he was exaggerating it but he really wasn't the second thing we got him to do also was this it wasn't just a case of just the mechanics you have to change your mental pictures. If you're always visualizing your slice, you're gonna keep slicing it. So you've gotta visualize the draw shape. You've gotta visualize the shape coming from right to left to complement the changes. Now, do this, follow that simple system. So you're gonna go bang, bang, back to normal, then hit, trying to recreate the same feeling. The second thing you can do at home is just feel the under and under. So put your fists together, and ultimately here, look, all you're gonna do is like a boxing uppercut, there's your backswing. Under, 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 under. It is not, look, over, over. No, we're going under, helps with the rotation, feeling of under, and then under again here. Anything just to kind of get that motion, it's completely contrary to what you'd be doing if you're slicing the golf ball. I did mention, is there a difference with uh, your, your uh, we're gonna discuss irons, we're probably gonna run out of time for that, but there is no difference with your irons. The only difference is you're gonna move the ball forward. So people are worried about, well, if you come up here, won't you just come and top the golf ball? Absolutely not, because all that happens, look, is you, as you're coming under, you're catching the ball first, 
before it then starts to come up. We'll cover that in a later video. So just summary, if you are slicing that golf ball, you are coming over the top of the golf ball here. You're getting into flexion here. That's working over. We're gonna simply extend. We're gonna get the handle forward. We're gonna get under Heath here and we're gonna close that face. That is it. Feel what that's like. Go back into impact and then simply whoosh, smash that shot. All right, so it's weird. It's gonna feel weird, but you can see on the videos with both Richard and Roger, they don't look like I'm showing it, but they did feel like it, okay? And they were super, super surprised. So give it a go. Hope you really enjoyed it. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Maybe share it with one of your friends who is a major slicer, because it really, really does work. And remember, I'll put a free downloadable practice plan in the description box below, so you won't have to remember a thing. And if you're new to the channel, come and join the community by pressing that subscribe button and the bell. But until next week, have a great golfing week.